if changes happen to the cities, we need to address the craziness of your revenue stream. Uh, when we look at all of the people who have even a reasonable dependence on property tax, what you are finding over time is that you are having to backfill what you would have paid for with property tax with other tax sources because of the 1% growth limit. I think it's a disaster, and I think we're going to have to have a conversation about is that a good idea or not, because it is causing bad behavior. It is causing people to make decisions that will wind up being more expensive for the taxpayers as a whole. Uh, I think you're going to have to look at the set of restrictions that, that we have, in our infinite wisdom, placed upon how you spend money. Uh, you have a tenth of a cent of sales tax you can spend on this. You have a tenth of a cent you can spend on new programs in this area, but not on the existing programs that you have in this area. And it's the same for everyone, even though my guess is that the way that Yakima would choose to spend money is different than the way Yarrow Point would choose to spend money. Uh, and my personal preference would be to leave here with a package uh, of flexibility for you, as well as um, the unfortunate leavings that I will probably have to do. Um, so that we can all look at each other and say, you know, I can keep my city functional if I could spend this money on this, but no, instead I have to buy new parks even though I can't maintain the ones I have. So I'm a big fan of flexibility and giving you the option to spend money I, um, in the way that seems appropriate to you. Uh, I used to be, and Toby, you can probably speak to this, but I used to think that I ought to be the czar of all spending in the state particularly on education policy, and I have gotten over that. Uh, I, um, no, really, I have gotten over this almost completely. I, uh, I had a period of time when I, I had a medical intervention and I had a lot of recovery time, and I got to walk around and either read books sitting still or walk and listen to lectures, and I read Democracy in America, Alexis de Tocqueville's sort of brilliant look at America in the early part of the 19th century, and a lot of it's still true, and a lot of the brilliance that we have as a country is that we are not rigid in how we allow local administration. And we may have goal setting at the centralized level, but we allow local governments to make decisions that are appropriate for them, and I think you should push us to take off all of the little micromanagement that we do on your financial management so that we can actually run this state, all of us together at all levels of government, uh, and that hopefully we can recover from this um, horrific recession and be healthier when we're done.